According to my research based on several reports and articles, there are three primary reasons which led to the widespread of coronavirus, that is COVID-19. First being the lack of vigilance, caution and foresight on the part of the World uh, Health Organization, WHO, in understanding and responding to the seriousness of issue in hand. They were really sloppy. Second, dubious role of China in camouflaging and underplaying the virus when it had started in the latter part of 2019. Third reason, kind of connected with the first and second reasons, being the overlap and coinciding of the Chinese New Year with the coronavirus outbreak. When millions of Chinese traveled all over China and worldwide, with many of them being carriers of this deadly virus. Now let us discuss all three together. The WHO's conduct in handling the coronavirus or COVID-19 pandemic has come under severe criticism amidst which has been labeled as the agency's diplomatic balancing act between China and China's critics. Many have even raised their eyebrows on the questionably deep and close relationship between the WHO and Chinese authorities. While the WHO has praised the Chinese government's transparency, many others have shown cynicism, suggesting that China's official tally of cases and deaths may be an underestimation. A Berkeley research scientist named Zio Xiang, who has been closely following the China's official reports about the coronavirus, found something fishy and unsettling. The WHO was literally the mouthpiece of China and was speaking out the language and script of China. That's what he noticed. Right from the beginning of both WHO and Chinese authorities maintained a common stand on coronavirus, which said that based on initial investigations, there was no clear evidence of human to human transmissions of the novel coronavirus. The whole stand eventually fell flat on its face and we began to witness millions of people having got affected by the global pandemic and thousands killed. Admittedly, the, 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 the United States was caught on the back foot, which it now claims was due to misinformation or untimely information from the WHO in, in, in China. The US is paying heavy price for its so-called ill-preparedness or for the faults of WHO and China, as it claims. Ironically, when Chinese authorities were softening the degree of, of the impact of the virus, one Dr. Li Wenliang, working in Wuhan, was warning of human-to-human -human transmission of this new respiratory ailment. Dr. Li, who was reprimanded for spreading rumors, later died of the virus, sadly. And he was merely uh, 33 years old. WHO did mourn the loss of fellow physician, Dr. Li, but did not censor China for condemning him unnecessarily without basis and foundation. Catastrophically, the, the coronavirus outbreak overlapped with the Chinese New Year, as I mentioned in the beginning, for which millions of people, you know, traveled to visit family and friends within China and across the globe. Millions of Wuhan people who were kept misinformed or not informed traveled all over China, all over the world. And many of them were, were carriers of coronavirus. Many of them. The WHO was well informed of Chinese designs of underplaying the seriousness and gravity of the situation. First time on January 20th, the Chinese confirmed that the virus could undeniably spread amongst humans. However, things were irreversible by then. Ironically, WHO behaved like being in slumber to declare the spread of the virus as a global health emergency. On the top of it, praising the Chinese authorities overwhelmingly. 
More than a month passed until the WHO branded COVID-19 a pandemic. By then it was too late. With more than 4,000 people dead and 100,000 plus infected across the globe. Now, WHO's role has been severely criticized. President Trump has put US funds on hold pending a review to assess the World Health Organization's role in severely mismanaging and covering up the spread of coronavirus. The US is the single largest contributor to the WHO. Leading health experts have labeled Donald, Donald Trump's beg your pardon, decision to cut funding to the WHO as a crime against humanity. Well, only time will tell who committed the crime against humanity. Was it President Trump, China or WHO?